Hi guys, thank you so much for coming back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about my testimony and a lot of you uh, have your own story. I would like to share mine with you guys. So at the beginning of my story, I was born into Christianity. I was raised up in that sense and when I was younger I kind of just went with the flow of everything and I didn't really take the time to really study my Bible, things like that. Up until 8th grade, I uh, had dated a guy and it ended very badly. I was very depressed for a very long time after that, what seemed like a long time. I met a girl and her and I became really good friends, best friends. She wasn't the best influence and I wasn't the best influence for her either. After a while, I started realizing maybe I should start, you know, praying more and reading my Bible more, being a better influence on her. It just seemed like we weren't, we were butting heads more often. Ninth grade comes around and freshman year and her and I are still friends and we're still kind of going through the motions of everything. I'm still debating whether or not I should just have a relationship with God or not. After ninth grade, I wanted to go see family in a different state. I wanted to go see them because I felt like I should for one and two because I felt like because they're a Christian family, I would be around a better influence and it'd be a lot easier to talk about God and to get a closer, you know, perspective on who he is and have a relationship with him. I finally, finally got to go. I was over there for about two months. I come back and I'm a totally different person and I, you know, realized, you know, hey, like, this is so cool. You know, I, I finally have a relationship and I feel at peace with with the things that are going on in my life and I can finally let go of certain things and feel better about myself and about, you know, my God. Like, he, you know, he saved me and he, he brought me up from this bad place to this amazing place. I'm so happy that I made that decision. Unfortunately, my friend was not different at all. Uh, she pretty much stayed the same. Her and I ended up ending the friendship. Well, I ended the friendship. She didn't exactly want to end the friendship, but I did uh, because I felt in my heart that maybe it was just time to move on and to find new friends. When I did come back, her and I were fighting a lot more and it was pretty stressful for me and I know it was stressful for her. Our friendship ending had a very, very big impact on my faith. And what I mean by that is that it was an important stepping stone for the path that God was guiding me on. I go to school and asked her to be my friend again and that was not a smart decision for my, you know, for my spirit um, because if you have a bad influence in your life, you know, you can't, you can't keep it in your life. If you're thriving for something good and something positive and something holy, you can't keep the baggage on you. Anyways, after I had asked her to be my friend again, I couldn't remember why I had ended the friendship in the first place because it was just out of flesh. And the Holy Spirit was like, what are you doing? You know, why are you doing this? And, and I thought we were on the right path for you. And I made it worse for myself by doing that because if I would have just ended it and left it at that, everything would have smoothed out pretty well. I remember, you know, her being very upset when I had to tell her again that I was done. And then I basically had a fresh start. As I was having this fresh start, I knew God was shielding me from what was really going on. He let me be aware of what was going on um, after the friendship was over, but he was protecting me from it still. What ended up happening was that she was very upset with me. She was very, you know, crude about what she said about me. It's been two years and she still hates my guts. She moved on her way and I moved on my way. Of course there was this ups and downs on the way, but I have no regrets on being a Christian and I have no regrets on making that decision, you know, and I'm so thankful that I was raised in a Christian household because if I wouldn't have been, I don't know what my life would be like now. And I believe that even if you are raised in a Christian household, you still have a journey to go on to. If you feel that something is pulling you towards Christianity, it's God. God always has his arms open. He's always waiting for you to come to him. I have no regrets on going up to my family up there because they were such a great influence. And I know you're watching this. This is dedicated to you guys. Thank you so much for being, you know, there for me and being patient with me and and really just being that great influence in my life. Uh, you guys are a really big part of 
why I'm a Christian. And I'm trying not to cry, but <laughs> that is my testimony, and I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have not seen my past videos, go ahead and go back and watch my first three videos. This is my fourth video on this channel, and I'm so excited that this is the journey that God's guiding me on. If you guys have any questions for me, go ahead and message me, or go on my Instagram or Twitter and message me through those. Thank you so much for watching my video and supporting me. Go ahead, if you have not subscribed, go ahead and press that subscribe button. Press the notifications bell for my upcoming videos. Also, you guys, I uh, said this in my last video, but I'm going to say it again. I started a business with a company called It Works, and it's so amazing. There's so many amazing products that we have on there. I bought this little bag. It's like a little backpack, and I put all my products in here. So, I became a distributor, and the distributor is the person who pretty much gets paid to sell products. You get a starter kit for only $99 if you want to become a distributor. If you do not want to become a distributor, you can become a loyal customer. If you become a loyal customer, you can buy these products from my website. One of our main products that we really like to sell is called the wrap. They are $25 for one wrap. This is a whole pack of four, and so normally this is $100 for a whole pack, but we actually took 40% off. If you become a loyal customer right now, you can get 40% off and get it for $59 instead of $100. I will put my social media in the description below. I will also put my website and my email address if you guys have any questions about Christianity, also my web, my business website, anything like that. Thank you guys again so much for watching this video. I love you guys so much. I can't wait for this journey that God's taking me on and I really, really can't wait for you guys to join me on it. Go ahead and press that subscribe button. I'd really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much guys. God bless. What would my life be like? What would it be like? I don't know. But yeah. <laughs>